Three demoted FDNY fire chiefs recently filed suit against Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh. They allege that she targeted them based on their age. And joining us now are the three chiefs who filed suit, Michael Gallet, Joseph Jardin, and Michael Masucci, and their attorney, Jim Walden. We do want to also add that they don't represent the views of the FDNY. You are here on your own time. So we want to make sure that we get that. And thanks for being with us tonight, guys. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Chief Gal, I, we'll try to get to everybody, and have, I want you all to be able to have your say. We'll start with you. It has been alleged that there's really a crisis of confidence at the FDNY. So I'm, I'm interested to hear from your perspective. What was it like to work there under or to work there under Commissioner Kavanaugh's tenure? Well, she became the acting commissioner in February of 2022. It seemed to be no problems. I was the assistant chief of operations, overseeing the daily manpower of New York City's 10,000 plus uniform members. Uh, once she got the position uh, permanently in October, uh, shortly after I was removed from a high profile position to the quartermaster uniformed uh, equipment section without any explanation. Uh, and then apparently when I didn't retire three months later, I was demoted uh, to deputy, which is the first time in the history of the fire department that staff chiefs were uh, demoted. Chief Jordan, did you have a similar experience? I mean, were things sort of going well until they weren't, essentially? I had a similar experience, although I was removed from my position as chief of fire prevention in August, preceding the uh, demotion that took place earlier this year. Uh, and I suspect it was in part due to politics and some concerns uh, over um, positions I had taken on uh, issues that uh, perhaps City Hall wasn't happy about and politically uh, you know, did not support those views of uh, for the speaking acting out, fire commissioner. Well, for, for uh, you know, pursuing the mission of the fire department, keeping the public and our firefighters safe from the perils of fire. Chief Nzuti, what was your relationship or what is your relationship like with the commissioner? Uh, well, as Chief Gala said, uh, I, I'm the chief of uniform personnel, was the chief of uniform personnel for almost six years. Uh, when Commissioner Kavanaugh was acting, I really didn't have any day-to-day -day, uh, dealings with her at all. When she became the permanent fire commissioner, shortly thereafter, within a few weeks, I was called up to her office and basically told that I was being removed as the chief of uniform personnel with the explanation of that we're just going in a different direction, but that I could uh, clean out my office and I was being removed and I was being replaced by my executive officer, a much younger chief uh, with no experience in the role that I do or did. And I was, he was going to be the acting chief of personnel and I was just to clean out my office. The, and I, the that, commissioner was on this program just a few weeks ago, so we asked her about this. Uh -huh. Here is what she had to say. Take a listen to the commissioner. We are putting together a new team, and that's always difficult, but it's also what every commissioner before me has done, and, and we will do that. And, uh, you know, this wonderful fire department's the greatest place I've ever been will continue to fulfill its mission. She says this is her prerogative. She can put in place who she wants. What do you think about that, Chief Gallup? Well, you know, she keeps talking about her team. There are 17 active fire staff chiefs on the fire side. Ten of them, including the chief of the department, have requested to be demoted back to deputy chief. 65 deputy chiefs said that they do not want to come on to staff. We have a crisis. Our job is to support our members and to protect the people of the city of New York. I think right now we are in a crisis. and. Somebody needs to try to write the train. Yeah, we do want to talk about the safety issue because there was one lawsuit that was filed with the three of you on it, as I understand. And if I have my information cor correct, basically you said that it would be a level of unpreparedness that is unimaginable should she be able to take the the um, the moves that she has done. And a, a federal court found that that's not true, that that you can't claim that there was a safety issue. There was no basis for that. So now we have the, the issue of age discrimination. From your perspective, Chief Jordan, it, it, some might look at this and say, well, they, they couldn't get it on safety. Maybe now it's age discrimination. Are they just sort of trying to see what sticks because they don't like the woman at the top, that this is really about personal feelings towards the fire commissioner? Well, and I would defer to our attorney, Jim Walden, for, um, you know, the nuance between the first uh, filing and now what is uh, the complaint that is existing. Uh, and I think that ageism always was, you know, an underpinning for the lawsuit. Uh, so that hasn't changed. However, um, 
the team that uh, Chief Gallo referred to re really isn't there. Um, there are 10 who have requested demotions on top of the three of us who were demoted, and we've been in a holding period, presumably for 90 days. That 90 days is coming to an end. So um, what is the next steps? And strategically, there will be some undermining of uh, life safety to the public and firefighters if uh, this is not repaired in the near future. But specifically, Chief, is this a, is this a personal issue? It, some might say this is sexism or this might be misogyny. This is three, respectively, three white men who don't like the fact that a woman who has never been a firefighter is leading this department. What do you say to that? Uh, I say that's totally incorrect. We have no problem with working with a woman fire commissioner. I believe uh, her uh, action against me was was personal. Uh, for not, for, I don't know the explanation for that. I have 33 years of service in the department. Uh, never had a complaint against me. Did exactly what this department has asked me to do, and I was removed. Uh, the 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 first part of the lawsuit that was re that was uh, denied. You got to remember the ten chiefs that have requested the demotion. They were all denied those demotions. They were held in abeyance by the fire commissioner. So. There is no safety issue per se with the staff for the citywide tours because we're not being demoted. We're, those requests were denied. And I think it bears mention too that she keeps, the commissioner keeps saying, I want to pick my team, I want to pick my team. But the team that she picked are some of the very people that asked to be off the team because they no longer had competence To Chief Gallo's point. Yeah. We do want to mention that we did put this entire um, complaint on our website so our viewers can read it for themselves. We've also posted the entire interview that we did with um, Commissioner Kavanaugh so our viewers can decide. They can look at both and make their own determinations. We also did reach out to the FDNY and the commissioner for comment on this lawsuit and we have again invited the commissioner to come back on the, the 6th to respond to your um, comments directly. We thank you all for being here tonight. Thank Good luck. You. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.